doing a little introduction to the Tiburon Smart Shift reel. This is a fairly typical lever drag reel made for heavy duty salt water use. As you can see that looking at the back side here from the angler's point of view, this is our drag lever. Our preset adjustment for the drag is on the left hand side of the reel. It's one of the differences between our reel and our competition. The other difference, and the most obvious, is there's a star wheel on the side of the reel. This is not a drag adjustment. This is an adjustment to change the shift point of the automatic shift. This is an automatic two-speed reel. Tightening this wheel will increase the point at which the reel downshifts, and it downshifts in reaction to the resistance from a fish on the line. So. We have a side plate here. This is the just the side plate removed from the side of the reel to demonstrate how easily the reel shifts. We've got our two drive gears, the high speed gear and the low speed gear, driving the pinion. They're connected to the pinion all the time. We've got some timing marks here drawn on the low speed gear so that you can see the reel is biased to high gear. When there's no load on the reel, the high speed gear is driving the reel and it's also overdriving the low speed drive gear. You can see that the gear is turning faster. Look at the timing marks, it's going faster than the uh, drive shaft. So, what happens when you get a fish on the line and it pulls really hard on a spool? I'm going to put pressure on the pinion gear here. Now the low speed gear takes over. The low speed gear is driving the reel. As soon as the pressure decreases, the reel instantly goes back into high gear. So the smart shift reel is always trying to go as fast as it possibly can to pick up line as quickly as it possibly can, which is the whole object in catching a fish on a rod and reel. Okay, so we adjust that shift point again with the star wheel. The tighter it is, the more resistance it takes from the fish to downshift the reel. <coughs> the looser it is, the lower that shift point, the less resistance it takes to shift. If you accidentally back off on this wheel all the way, you have no problem because this is not connected to your drag system. Your reel will just simply be in low gear. It has absolutely no effect on the drags. Okay, very simple, very effective.